Good afternoon, Christine Handy, President McCap McBoa. I come to you today with my union colleagues to discuss the growing crisis of staffing shortages in our schools. We must address the needs of our strained staff to ensure optimal learning conditions for our students and optimal working conditions for our employees. Currently, MCPS is significantly understaffed. As a result, members of our unions are expected to do an unsustainable amount of work as a result. We have paraeducators covering multiple classes without proper technology. Bus drivers and their supervisors are operating multiple routes. Food service workers are covering shortages in other schools while leaving a shortage in their home schools. Teachers are covering quarantine students and serving as substitute teachers. Administrators are forced to become public health workers and contact tracers. All of this work is piled on top of our traditional duties and responsibilities. We are going above and beyond our part to support the evolving needs of our students and the, and the school system. It is time for the Board of Education and MCPS leadership to choose to do their part. As we near the two year mark of the pandemic, our students need us more than ever to support their educational, social and emotional needs. We cannot be present to do this if we are stretched beyond our human capacity. Our members are human beings, not robots without limits. Our membership is doing all they can to help our students and it is still not enough. The Board of Education and MCPS need to provide adequate resources and additional funds to compensate employees for their extraordinary efforts and reduce the workloads of employees where possible. The board must also make every effort to alleviate the burdens caused by significant staff shortages and a continuing public health crisis. MCPS students, family and staff are still in a time of crisis. As educators, we cannot ignore that this pandemic continues to take a severe toll on us all. Many of our students of color, students from low income communities, and students with special needs were already struggling prior to March of 2020. They now have an even bigger hill to climb. The data show that literacy readiness dropped 35% for second graders from 2018-19 to 2021. Math readiness for fifth graders was down 25%. Literacy was down for black second graders by 38%. Hispanic second graders suffered a 46% drop. Addressing learning recovery is especially challenging as we continue to cope with the fallout of COVID-19 in our communities. Our students have suffered as a result of this pandemic. We must provide individual support to help students catch up following COVID-19. But many permanent positions are still vacant and substitute teachers are scarce. The pressure to conduct endless assessments reduces the time for instruction. As a result, the start of this school year finds students and their teachers increasingly anxious, weary, and falling even further behind. MCPS must free our teachers from lunch, recess, and late bus duties. We need substitutes for classroom coverage when teachers become ill or are forced to quarantine. Our support professionals need the staffing, hours, and resources to get their jobs done. Administrators need to be focused on instructional leadership, not contact tracing and COVID mitigation give educators sufficient time to address our students' academic needs and give students the time to learn. We cannot continue to make do and be flexible. Our membership has bent over backward for over a year and a half and we are about to break. Educators and all staff need to focus on helping our students heal from the trauma of the last two years, both emotionally and academically. We must focus on mitigating learning gaps caused by the pandemic. Meeting these needs is an impossible task when we have no time to breathe, focus on instruction and learning recovery, collaborate with peers, and when we do not have the 
staff necessary to give individual support. All three of our organizations want to partner with MCPS's administration so we can solve these problems. We need MCPS administration to come to a joint bargaining table to agree to solutions such as the following. Increasing the hours of employment for support staff and paraprofessionals. Providing the incentives needed to attract highly qualified educators and a full complement of substitute teachers to fill open jobs. Compensating educators for their time when they're, when they're forced to miss their contractually mandated planning time and lunch periods to provide impromptu coverage throughout the school day. And when they're forced to serve as contact tracers and public health officials in addition to their regular responsibilities calling on DHHS to fulfill its responsibility as the lead agency for contact tracing instead of forcing our members to perform as public health officials and reducing the workload of our members. The Board of Education and MCPS have demanded more than we can deliver for students without a significant increase in resources and staffing. Our members and students are adversely affected by MCPS's choosing not to address these needs strategically and intentionally. Today, we three presidents choose to speak with one voice to bring attention to this crisis. We all have the power to make the right choices for our communities. Let's not waste it.